guys, so today I have a video all about my perfumes for you today and I was really surprised at how many times this actually gets requested. Perfume is one of the hardest things to actually talk about on YouTube because you can't smell what I'm smelling, I'm terrible at describing scents, but a lot of you guys are interested in the perfumes that I have and some of my favourites and I do have a very, very large collection which kind of goes in phases. I have my kind of really old perfumes, things that I wore a lot in the past and then my newer scents and then things that I repurchase and that I continue to use. So I thought to start things off I would just go through my top five favorites. I say top five, but I definitely have about six or seven here, so we'll just see what happens. So I wanna start out with my newest favorite. I've talked about this a little bit recently. This is from Diptyque. I'm such a massive fan of Diptyque perfumes and I have quite a few of them. And this is the newest one that I've come across. This is Eau de Well. And actually it's now my favorite of all of them. I absolutely love this. I feel like this is the scent that I've been searching for for a really long time and never really been able to find until this came along. So this I would say is a very vanilla, ambery, musky type scent. Immediately when I smell this, I think of vanilla. In fact, if you know the Diptyque vanilla candle, it smells identical to this. And I love vanilla. I used to have a little body shop vanilla perfume spray when I was younger. Um, so this is kind of vanilla, but a grown up version. It's a bit deeper, a bit muskier, almost a little bit spicier, but still very, very sweet. But the spiciness in it really cuts the sweet down and it makes it so wearable, very kind of heady. And like they just wrap you up in a warm, blanket. That is basically how I feel when I smell this. So I think if you're a fan of vanilla but you want something a little bit more sophisticated with a bit more of a musky edge, this is such a good one to go for. I also don't think I could do a perfume video without mentioning Jo Malone. I think Jo Malone is probably my favourite perfumery brand. They always come out with such incredible combinations of scents, something you wouldn't find anywhere else and I just love all their perfumes and I have to say there are two that I tried to pick between for this video and I just couldn't do it. I love these so much. So Peony and Blush Suede and Black Green Bay. I've mentioned these so many times in the past and I've gone through probably a couple of bottles of these now. I should probably just buy the big versions instead of the small ones but I have to say I do love the way the little small Jo Malone bottles look. So I'll start with Peony and Blush Suede and this is actually the first Jo Malone fragrance that I ever purchased and I spent hours and hours in the store. So Sniffing them and smelling them. In fact, I think it's in my first ever Vlogmas video. I went to the Jo Malone counter and I just went crazy and I smell everything. And in the end, I came away with this one. And this is very sweet and actually very floral for me. I don't usually go near floral scents, but it's kind of got a fruitiness as well. I think the peony is a slightly more fruitier flower. So that just turns this into a whole different thing. So it's definitely very floral, but it's also quite citrusy as well. A little bit sharp, kind of has a bit of apple in there too. I love the scent of apple. And also the suede in it just gives it, again, a little bit more of a musky edge, something a bit more sophisticated than just a normal floral. I think I'm nearly out of this one, definitely need to restock up on it. But Peony and Blush Suede is such an amazing one if you like your florals and your sweets and your really kind of fruity fragrances. So then kind of slightly different to that, I have Black Brie and Bay as well. Again, I think this is kind of a signature scent from Jo Malone, it's one of their most popular ones. And this is such a different fragrance. It's really unlike anything I've ever smelt before. Again, it is quite fruity because of the blackberries in there. It's fruity and also sharp at the same time, which I really, really like. But the scent of the bay in this, which is actually a kind of savory kind of herb, it's actually a leaf, just changes the whole thing. And it kind of becomes so, so different. It almost has a spicier edge. Reminds me a tiny, tiny bit of men's fragrances. But don't let that put you off because it is not masculine at all. It's a very feminine scent. Although I feel like a guy could totally wear this if they wanted to. But it's not masculine in the way that some of the really musky and really deep intense fragrances are. It just has that really nice kind of spicy undertone to it, which is beautiful with the fruitiness of the blackberry. Um, so I love this one so much. And it's kind of one of those scents that really, really warms up on your skin. So as soon as you spray this on, it kind of just transforms a little bit. It's gonna be different on everyone, but on me, it just gets so warm and beautiful. And it's a really kind of cozy scent. So I absolutely love Blackberry and Bay. And I did try to choose between the two, but they're so different and I love both of them. So one of my all time favorite scents is actually from Kiehl's and I really wasn't familiar with Kiehl's fragrances up until about two or three years ago. I had no idea that they did them, but I was in the London store, I think in Waterloo station waiting for my train and I went to smell this and as soon as I did, I was just obsessed. I was in love, I had to have it. As you can see, I've pretty much used all of this up because I think I used it every single day for about six months, nonstop. I just didn't want to wear anything else but this. And actually it has a very similar type of scent to the Diptyque Eau de Well. 
Oh, I just need to smell this for a little bit because it's so, so good. Don't think I've actually mentioned what this is called yet. This is vanilla and sandalwood. And it has, again, that very vanilla-y smell. It's very sweet. I'd say this one is probably a little bit sweeter than the Diptyque one, but the sandalwood in this makes it so, so different. And it just makes things so spicy, a little bit oriental and just really intense and beautiful. But the vanilla in this is sweet enough that it really doesn't get overpowering or deep. It's definitely a lot lighter than the Eau Dwellers, but still so lovely and warming. Again, it's another really cozy scent. You're probably gonna find a theme. I just love perfumes that are really nice and warm. I think it's because it doesn't have the amber note that the Diptyque one has, that this is a little bit lighter and fresher. And um, I actually wear this a lot in summer. It's one of my favorite summer scents. Okay, next I have something a little bit different. Um, I was thinking about whether or not to include this one and I decided that I have to because this was my favorite perfume for so, so many years. There was this one and then a Chanel perfume as well. Chanel Chance Au Fresh, which is the green one, which when I was was probably about 15 I just wore non-stop so this is Chloe I think this is actually the eau de toilette version but it's still very very similar to the original Chloe and this one I think is probably going to be the hardest fragrance to explain because whenever I actually try and describe it to anyone I just can't seem to figure out what this actually smells like. I think it's definitely described as a floral. In fact, I think it's kind of a floral cipher. And I'm not a technical perfume person, so I can't really explain to you what that means, but there is something so sharp about this, and that's the only way I can think to describe it. It's not bitter, but it is just a really, really sharp and intense, almost quite tart type of floral scent. And I just love it. It's so unique and so different. And actually, whenever I'm outside and somebody walks past me that is wearing this, I just instantly know that it's Chloe. I'd say as well, this is probably the strongest perfume I own and you definitely get your money's worth because one spray is enough. I think maybe sometimes even one spray is too much because it's such an intense scent. So if you love to really smell your scents on yourself all day long then this is such an amazing one to try um, and if you're into florals and you're into something a little bit sweeter but very citrusy and very sharp then this is amazing. I think you should definitely smell this one. I think we've gone past five now but I'm going to keep going because there are two more that I really want to talk about. The first one is from Tom Ford. This is actually the only Tom Ford fragrance that I own because they are quite pricey, but there are so many that are amazing in the range. They're definitely worth checking out. There are a few that I have my eye on for the time being, but this is actually one of my favorites right now. This is Noir, and this is basically a pure amber scent, I would say. It smells just like amber, and if you're not familiar with amber, it's kind of like vanilla's stronger, deeper, muskier sister. It smells vanilla-y, but so much more intense, so much more concentrated, and just really, really deep and really spicy. This one is a very intense fragrance again, similar to the Chloe one, you don't need a lot of this at all. A little bit goes a very long way and this is actually my favourite evening scent. I love to wear this when I'm going out. It's just one of those really kind of sexy perfumes, I hate to describe perfume like that, but it is very much like that, very deep and dark and intense. And those by far are my favourite scents. I'm really not into the kind of light, very girly fragrances. And then the last one I have actually comes in very similar packaging. This is from Elizabeth and James and it's Nirvana Black. I feel like this is one of those kind of ultimate blogger perfumes that everybody has to own because it is just so beautiful and Instagrammable. They also have a white version of this, but this is the black, which again, you probably will guess is my kind of scent. It's really deep, really intense. I think this is a really great beginning step if you want to try these deeper, muskier scents, but you're not quite ready for something as intense as Tom Ford Noir, because I think this one actually has an undertone of floral in it. That's definitely what it smells like to me. It's less vanilla-y and more floral, but it still has that deepness and that spiciness and real musky warmth to it. I actually use this one really sparingly because I think you can only get it in the US. I picked this up in Sephora while I was out there and I wish I had bought a bigger bottle and in fact everything from the entire range because I think they have dry shampoos and rollables and oils and all that good stuff. I love it when perfumes have a few different products in their ranges so I wish I'd got more of this so I don't use it as often as I probably would like to but again this is one of my favourite evening scents. I love to wear it when I go out but it's something that I can still get away with wearing every day because it is just a little bit lighter, a little bit less heady and intense um, and just a really beautiful gorgeous smell. So big thumbs up to Elizabeth and James. So those are all the perfumes that I wanted to talk about today. I think that's quite a good little introduction into my favourites. If you would like to see an entire perfume collection tour, which would probably be a very, very long video, please let me know in the comments because I would love to do that for you and I'll try and figure out a way of it being slightly more interesting than me just holding different perfume bottles up. So I hope you enjoyed that and you maybe got a little bit more of an insight into the types of scents that I like, if you're familiar with any of these. If any of these are your favourites or in fact, if you have just an all-time favourite perfume, please let me know. And that is it for me today. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye!